What if they could make a universal audio Apollo and instead of being in the professional level range in the musicians, you know, thousand dollar or less range? And they did it. So the universal audio Apollo twin, it comes either with one or two processors, so depending how many plugins you need. Beautiful cosmetics. If we look at the panel, there's one big knob in the center. So the one big knob controls many different things, but so easy to use, two input meters, two output meters. There's switching on the front. So you can uh, link the two inputs and you want to do a stereo mic on a piano, you can just hit a button. You want to switch, you've got a guitar on one input and a mic on the other. Well, you can just have a switch to say, well, which one do I want to control? Do I want to have a high pass filter or I need 48 volts to power my condenser mic? Um, all these standard things, or I have a very hot mic I can just hit the pad on. So very easy to use. On the back panel, there's two combi jacks, so either XLR, three pin, or a quarter inch in if you're just running line ins from your keyboard. There's four outputs, so you can have a separate output going to your monitor speakers and then a separate main out, uh, totally independent. The other brilliant thing is if you want to expand it saying, well, gee, with only two mic ins, I can't do drums. But there's actually an ADAT input. So you can add a uh, basic eight microphone into ADAT or line into ADAT output uh, and then plugging into our uh, twin. And now I have 10 microphone inputs. So now any rehearsal drum kit live show with this tiny little box can now be recorded live, multi-track at a time, like the Big Brother Apollo Duo Quad or Apollo 16, you can use all the plugins and actually record with those plugins. And that's the one major difference between having any of the Apollo series, including this sub $1,000 twin, is that you can actually record with any of the plugins. It does come with the Analog Classics bundle, so you do have if you think of having to buy an 1176 compressor limiter or an LA2, those come with the bundle. So the Universal Audio Apollo Twin is beautiful to look at. One of the great things was when I physically opened the box. You remove the unit from a very well padded box and the first thing you see is a picture of Ray Charles. How, how cool is that? And then he's sitting beside a, a stack of LA610 preamps. One of the things that they've unleashed is this new Unison preamp. This Unison preamp actually works the gain structure of the real LA610 or whatever mic pre. And we have to think, well, they have Neve plugins also, they have API plugins. All those will control the hardware, which will affect the sound of the mic. Before we arrived back at the store, coming back from California in the trade show, the product was here. You can buy your Apollo Twin today.